everyone, and welcome to another episode of Divi Nation. Uh, Divi Nation is a podcast and YouTube show by Elegant Themes, a proud leader in the premium WordPress theme and plugin market. As always, the goal of Divi Nation is really simple. We want to provide you with the knowledge, insights, and supportive community you need to be successful with WordPress and Divi. I'm your host, Nathan B. Weller, and as your host, it's my job to facilitate that success. To achieve that, in today's Divi Nation short, I'll be sharing a really simple tip that we get a ton of requests for in the forums. That is, how do I get a full screen video background when using Divi's full width header module? Let's get into it. In this Divi quick tip, I'm going to show you how to set a full screen, uh, full width video background on the full width header module. So this is something that the full width header module doesn't actually do, but by tweaking a few settings, you can approximate the exact same effect. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to do that on the back end. So let's take a look. All right, so here I am in my page editor, I've got the Divi builder down here. And you can see that the module that I have up here at the top is the full width header. Uh, to create this, you just go to full width section and select full width header from the menu here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just use the one I already have in place. So let's take a look at the settings for the full width header. So I have my full width header. I have my text here. Um, I've styled my text to light and I selected the make full screen option. So this means it's going to, whether I'm on a laptop or a larger computer or whatever I'm on, it's going to stretch to full screen. And you'll notice as I scroll down, there's actually, there's no video option. There's no background video option here. Um, but we can tweak some settings, uh, specifically the background colors here, or the background color and the background overlay to get the same effect um, using the section background settings. So what I want to do is change the background color to 100% transparent. So I'll open this up. And I've already got it set there, but just so you can see what this does is I take this right slider here and I pull all the way down to transparent. And then I chose to have an overlay um, also with some transparency added just so that um, the text that I have on top is going to be easier to read. So that's all, I, all the settings I need in the actual full width header module. Um, so I can save and exit there. And in order to get the video, Instead of setting that here, I'm going to go to the section settings. And when I scroll down in this, there's background video as an option. And I just upload the video that I want there. Come down here and I can set my dimensions. Um, I just put the dimensions in for a 1080p video. Um, but the uh, module headings of full screen are going to override this anyway. So uh, when you're done with that, click save and exit. And what you're going to find is that when you go back to the front end, you have a full screen, full width header module with a video background. All right. Well, that does it for this Divi quick tip. If you have any questions about the instructions that I gave during this video, feel free to leave them in the comments wherever you're watching or listening to this, uh, whether that's on the blog, Facebook, YouTube, um, etc. And I'll be sure to read them and do my best to answer as clearly as possible. And with that, it looks like it's time to wrap up another Divi Nation short. So I hope you guys are enjoying the shorter format and I want to put your, your fears or your potential fears to rest. This is not how short Divi Nation shorts are typically going to be. Uh, the only reason this one is so short is because um, I'm actually a little more pressed for time than I usually would be. As you can see behind me, I'm not at my normal workstation. Uh, what I'm actually doing is testing uh, my road gear for Miami WordCamp, uh, which I'm flying out to this evening. In fact, by the time this episode goes live, I'll actually probably be in one of the Friday workshops hanging out with other WordPress users and hopefully meeting some of you, uh, the Divi Nation, in person. So if you'd like to follow along with me at the event via social media, I'll be tweeting from at Elegant Themes and sharing thoughts, photos, and possibly some videos via our Facebook page. So for everyone who doesn't decide to tune in to my WordCamp coverage, I'll be back next week with another full-length episode of Divi Nation featuring Brian Gardner of Studio Press and Rainmaker Platform. See you then.